Okay, we are recording now. This is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kringen, Seattle, Washington, USA. Uh, it is January 26th, 2021. And I'm excited that I'm gonna go hiking with a friend about an hour away from Seattle. And we're probably gonna watch the second half of the Tom Petty documentary, Running Down a Dream. I love that movie. I own a copy of it. I've seen it several times. It inspires me to stay true to myself, and to be authentic, and to remember to have fun and use your imagination and be a dreamer in life and take good care of your heart and soul. I wanted to tell you about the mattress uh, behind me there. You can see the mattress behind me right there is the one that I'm returning. Mattress Firm has fixed the problem for me. Thank you so much to Coral at the Capitol Hill Seattle Mattress Firm store. Thank you so much for your great customer service. Um, I'm able to return the foam mattress. I had a cover on it. I had a waterproof cover for it and it still got moldy and I don't know why because I had for eight or nine years, or maybe 10 years, a box spring mattress, whatever it's called, the old fashioned spring kind. And I had a cover on that and I slept on it every night and it never molded. So I don't know why that foam one molded. It just seems like it, the fabric doesn't breathe as well as the old fashioned style mattresses that are made out of springy. I don't know what they're made out of, but the newer ones have a different smell so I'm really happy that tomorrow, Thursday, the 27th of January, they are a mattress firm is going to take away the foam mattress that didn't work out for me and replace it with uh, one that I picked yesterday at the store in person with the help of wonderful Coral in Capitol Hill, Seattle mattress firm. So I just wanted to clear that up that I'm happy now with customer service, with what mattress firm did for me. Thank you so much mattress firm. Yay, thank you so much. Um, so this is Shannon Kring and I'm in Seattle. I'm an artist and a model. I'm going to go hiking with my friend. Um, I'm excited to sleep on my new mattress. I have it airing out and drying right now back there. Um, I saw brown speckly mold on it and I wiped it with a white vinegar and then it turned a kind of brownish color. And on top of it right there, the fabric is, that's the I washed the cover that came with it. I also had another cover that's like made to waterproof uh, mattresses and hypoallergenic, blah, 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 certified, you know, those covers that you zip around a mattress. Um, and I got a new one. So I'm keeping my old mattress for house guests and then my new mattress. So I have a, two covers. I bought a new cover that cover came with that mattress. So I'm returning that to mattress firm. I washed it and then I'm zipping it back on there when they pick it up so they can take it away and, and have it back. Um, and then the new mattress I'm getting, I got a new cover for it. So again, my old mattress that I'm keeping for house guests that wanna sleep on the floor in my living room, I have a cover, a hypoallergenic waterproof cover for that that I wash every once in a while and put it back on to protect it. And it's very clean, even though it's a, my mattress is eight or nine or 10 years old. And I, it's still very clean because I've kept it sealed in a um, fully zippable, washable, uh, hypoallergenic waterproof casing that's sold for that purpose. And I bought a new one for my new mattress. And so both of my mattresses have covers on them um, and I treat them very well. So I'm excited that I'm in a better mood because yesterday I was really angry. Although I had a modeling job yesterday that went perfectly fine and perfectly well. Although I admit it feels strange to pose for a figure drawing class without, you know, as a full human figure. And then I had to wear a mask and it felt really weird. And then there's another school that hires me to come in person and I don't have to wear a mask on the model stand but I have to wear a bikini. And because they film us. Um, that's interesting to, to the way art schools have changed in this current climate we live in. So, but I'm excited to go hike with my friend and I have extra food bank food that I got that I can't eat all of. And so I'm bringing it to see if my friend wants any of it. And then tomorrow, my other friend, it's his birthday. So we're gonna celebrate. 
Um, I've had arguments with people lately, and I was going to say, I think all of us are a little bit Luke Skywalker, a little bit Darth Vader, and a little bit Yoda. I mean, I know I am. I admire people who are honest about their flaws and their dark side and self-aware enough to point out what their dark side is and self-confident enough to talk about what they're good at. I mean, like, I'm really good at my artwork. I'm really good at doing these abstract, non-representational abstract drawings in my own intuitive way. And I'm really good with my cat, with plants and animals, um, but I'm not as good at personal relationships. And I have kind of challenges with my mom and my dad and my mom and dad divorced when I was four. And I have issues with each of my parents that are unique and different. And uh, when, you, when you disagree with people close to you about how to stay healthy in this current situation, both economically and medically and physically and mentally, all the different levels is very challenging. Um, so I'm trying to have compassion and empathy for myself and for people that I'm close to my mom, my dad, other people that I'm close to that I disagree with on certain things. <clears throat> and it's challenging. <clears throat> and I feel um, frustrated and a little bit alienated and a little bit alone in this. And yet I have some friends that think like me, I won't go into detail, but it's nice to be able to talk and not have people yell at me because I disagree or they disagree with me. So I think it's good. Real friends are people who can agree to disagree and have respect and mutual respect for each other's differing views. And so again, I think we're all part, like I think in some ways I'm a wonderful person and in some ways I'm kind of a selfish jerk. And in some ways I'm kind and I'm sensitive and kind and caring and patient. And in other ways, I'm impatient. And in other ways, I'm kind of selfish and self-centered. I might be a little bit narcissistic. I might be autistic, narcissistic, autistic. I don't know. I'm a left-handed only child introvert who likes to share into the camera. So some people don't think I'm an introvert because I share so many personal things into cameras and microphones. But I am kind of an introvert and I like to spend a lot of time by myself. I need a lot of time to process what I go through. I'm very sensitive. So, and yet I think it's good that I'm self-conscious, but maybe I'm too self-conscious to the point where I don't feel free to just be myself because I'm always analyzing myself and trying to figure myself out. And I also try to figure other people out. And I wish that I could just not think so much. So I probably need to meditate more. I have a female friend that I've known since I was 11 that I meditate with on the phone because she lives in Oregon. I miss seeing her. So meditation would be good. More time in nature would be good. So the whole mattress thing is being taken care of. And I'll let you know because tomorrow, Thursday, it gets delivered at some January 27th, 2021. Tomorrow will be delivered. And I'm excited. I also got myself a new, I found a good sale on 100% cotton white sheets. I usually never buy white sheets. I just feel like I want to turn my bedroom into like a, a John Lennon peace white room. And so I, in terms of fabric. And so I think I also found a, a comforter on sale that's white. Um, so I just have a nice, clean, fresh because um, most of my sheets are green and blue and, and fun colors. I love color. I love, um, I tend to like jewel tones and darker colors. Like I love this green. I, I silk screened this. This t-shirt is a design of mine. I, I made this design and silk screened it on this cotton shirt. Uh, I designed this tattoo. Um, so I'm going to go now and visit my friend and I'm just catching up with you all. So it is January 26, 2021. I'm going to publish this on Facebook, YouTube, BitChute, and Rumble. So this is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring in Seattle. Have a nice day. Just wanted to tell you all how I'm doing. I think it's really good to be honest about your flaws and your beauty. I'm very talented and I'm also very flawed. I'm both at the same time. Sometimes when I acknowledge as my weaknesses, people uh, put me down, make fun of me and try to take advantage of me. And sometimes when I talk about what I'm good at, then people accuse me of being a narcissist. And so it's like, you can't win either way. Like people are gonna judge you no matter what you do. If I talk about what's wrong with me, 
people will say that's shameful. If I talk about what's great about me, people will say that's shameful. Some people think you shouldn't even talk about yourself. I think it's good to be self-aware. And honestly, I might be autistic or narcissistic, so it is easier for me to focus on myself than focus on others. And then again, I abandoned myself. Self-abandonment got me stranded again, polluted and uprooted, is a line in one of my poems. Self-abandonment got me stranded again, polluted and uprooted. So that's a, a words that popped into my head. So, and I have a radio show every Thursday uh, that I put on my Patreon and my Mixcloud for free to listen. Uh, well, it's free to listen on, on a Mixcloud. And then if you wanna join my Patreon, you just pay like a dollar or more a month and then you get access to a bunch of artwork that I do and um, fine, fine art figure photos that you can draw and paint from if you join my Patreon. Um, but shannonkringen.com is free and I share uh, music and photos and poetry and I have several blogs I write in and I just love to express myself. I'm a multimedia artist and free thinker. I'm a free range human being. So I just wanted to share with you today. So um, again, shannonkringen.com is my main website if you want to check out my art. Um, and if not, hey, have a good day. And um, I hope to be an inspiration to other people to do what they love. Um, now it's more important than ever for people to focus on doing what they love instead of getting caught up in fear or anger or stress. It's an opportunity to actually figure out what's really important to you and then do more of that if you can. Things, things are stressful for many people. And so the fact that I can just walk in the forest and breathe in oxygen feels so good to me. Um, and be with my cat and my plants. My, I have a whole bunch of house plants behind me, um, you know, back over there and back over in the, my whole front uh, window in my living room is filled with plants. So I love plants and I love animals. And um, okay, so I also eat animals. I feel better eating a more um, carnivore type diet. I'm not a carnivore in terms of that's all I eat, but I my diet is uh, meat based, a plant. I mean, animal-based, and that feels healthy to me. Um, and I'm not here to argue with anybody about it. Paul Saladino, Dr. Paul Saladino, did a really cool podcast recently um, about animal-based diets and how they can help some people quite a bit um, with different issues. But um, okay, just wanted to share that. And it's fine with me if you disagree with me on this. It's fine. Uh, okay, so have a good day, everyone. Just wanted to check in with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I'm doing. Bye for now. I'm in a much better mood today than I was yesterday. Yay. So bye for now. But it's okay to have bad moods sometimes. That's just part of life. It's a roller coaster. Bye for now.